when I was like trying to figure out like how what do, we, do you do? How do we? Yeah, yeah. I've never had conversations like that either. You can't. My chatters were like, you should collab with Girthmaster. <laughs> <laughs> Wallahi. Wallahi. Welcome in, Habib. <laughs> <laughs> to another episode of the A Raps Podcast. Today, Ooh. we have. We have I could do have it better. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome in, Habib. <laughs> yeah, that was. <laughs> That was it's crazy worked. how much better that was. <laughs> that was, that was insane. Hi. Uh, <laughs> <high. laughs> Welcome in, everybody. With, with Jordan, he was like, what's up, baby? What's up, baby? And up, we told him seven times what to say. <laughs> that son of a bitch. I know. Uh, again, probably for people that don't follow on Twitter, my one-sided beef with Jordan. So this has to be better than Jordan's. <laughs> Damn it. It already is because I finally have an, an, another girly on fucking set. I know. We've been, we've been starving. starving. We've been starving also, for Jordan a Jordan brought a gun to set. He did. Jordan did, bring I, a did gun. I did see the gun. Jordan did bring a gun. He brandished it in the middle of the podcast, which was... <laughs> he, no, he took an he had Uber a with a gun. Yeah, he why bought it have, for this. Why did he have an uncharted holster? <laughs> he bought it for this. I was very confused. <laughs> He's like, I did a lot of research on what kind of holsters would work for the, <laughs> <laughs> for the podcast. Okay. Uh, He's like, I'm hanging out with my, my Arab people. I got to get a gun holster. Yeah, he thinks it, we're all packing. It's crazy. He said, it, he said it's our instinct. Yeah. But anyways... Jordan walked in and patted me. <laughs> he's like, he's like, uh, he's like, Habibis, you're not gonna pat me down. That's traditional. Huh? <laughs> we have a very special guest. Oh, sorry. That's okay. At least it wasn't my barefoot this time. Yeah, that's true. I was just your love dirty, disgusting on. shoe. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> friendship, friendship, I, I'm a friendship. <laughs> the reason why my shoes are on today is because I'm not wearing matching socks. I'm not wearing socks at all. <laughs> So you definitely have to keep your uh, the the blanket covered because no free feet. No, no free, free feet. No free feet. No free feet. I learned the hard way. I did like Halloween one year, and I didn't think about how at the end of your legs are feet, and so I <laughs> kept them in, <laughs> kept them in the photo, and then all of a sudden there was just like hella people that I didn't know existed it was like giving me insults or compliments. I couldn't quite tell on my feet. And I just, I've been scarred ever since. And so <laughs> Did you ever used to have thoughts growing up like, wow, I wish I had feet like a Bratz doll? Like, where it's like four this? times. No, like the like pop, you can, no, four, like, four times as big. Yeah, that's what you wanted. <laughs> I, wanted I wanted to be able, <laughs> I wanted to be able to pop my feet off. I wanted to be able to pop my feet off. To like, uh, to like change shoes? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the Fro four four times the body size. There, I mean, so good. You know, <laughs> Frogan's like, you know what they say about big feet? <laughs> it's not for women. They're, fun, they're fun to walk on. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like, have thought about like as a like at one point I would have liked to like detach body parts. Feet were not it. What body part did you want to detach? Boobs. Like I just find them inconvenient sometimes. Uh, I yeah, agree. Me too. Me too. <laughs> yeah, we're all in the same boat here. Yeah. They're just all over the place. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Solidarity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I never thought of the foot one, but considering, considering, like, as a tall person, I would like to change my foot size sometimes. I get it. Because, like, sometimes I'm like, damn, if I was just a size nine, I could wear this cute shoe, but now I'm walking around like duck bills, and it's <laughs> fucking tired. I'm exhausted. <laughs> That happens to me with shoes all the time. These are like size 14 and they barely fit my feet. Yeah. And it's annoying because like what the f like I walk in there they're like, hey, can I get like a 15? They're like, do you play into the NBA? I'm like, no. <laughs> 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 they're like, what are you going to do with these? I'm like, just walk on I, I, I'm going to travel from point A to point B. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, bro, I can barely walk. I am going to dunk on a homeless person though. So we'll see what, <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> just as you're driving. Just as a, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Cross them up. Some of these homeless people need to get crossed up, and I'm just going to say it. I don't care how bad of a take <laughs> that is. is. The, this You're is just... the worst day of your life <laughs> as a homeless person. The other day. Them, like, what the fuck? <laughs> just, it's just a homeless guy running up on me. I'm like, he's like, oh, shit. <laughs> Not only am I homeless, but now my ankle's broken. The other day I was driving on Skid Row, and a guy tried punching my car. Uh-huh. 
Did you pull out a basketball and try to what cross you, him? What do you mean he tried punching your car? He just tried. He was like, I was like pulling up to a red light. He just starts swinging. I'm like, what are you doing? He's fighting dragons, he's trying, dude. Yeah, he's trying to fight. He's fighting his demons, dog. <laughs> I was on the phone with Scootish. I was like, Scootish is our producer. Hmm. I was like, this man's trying to fight I my car. Scootish. <laughs> he's Scootish. He's producing another thing. Oh. Yeah, you know? bigger, more oh, successful. Oh, I guess he's thing. not the edit. Whoever's editing. Hi, editor. Giraffster. Giraffster. Hi, giraffes. There we go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was just like, what is this guy doing? Because I've gotten chased by homeless people before here. Already? You have, yeah. yeah. You haven't yeah. been here for very long. No. It was... <laughs> it's either you get chased by a homeless person or you get your car stolen. That's like the welcome to LA. Yeah, he yeah. got his car stolen. Yeah. In the first month, a couple weeks I was here. Was it like an enviable car or was it just unlocked? I I, I could have sworn I locked it. I think they broke into it. They no, broke it. Yeah. They broke into yeah. it to smoke weed and drove it like a block over and crashed it. Yeah. <laughs> And then Sorry. the cops, and then they all, and then they all the ran. Cops, they scattered like roaches. The, the it was funny crazy. thing is, the cops give him back his car after this long. This is a long story with the Raf's car, but the cops give him back his car. They're like, "Hey, man, we we scoured it for prints. We dug into it. Yeah, can't find anything. You know, yeah, that and is just and, not true. No, no hundred percent. No, it gets even worse. Raf, <laughs> they brought the car to here, this area, not to Doc's area, but they brought the car here in the parking lot. And then we open the door after Raf gets the car back, and two cell phones are just yeah. sitting on the ground. First thing we find is two cell phones. I was like, bro, these cops are doing a really <laughs> good job, dude. Yeah. Another win. That was the cherry on top for that story. We haven't even introduced Kendall yet. Yeah, we're going to do that. <laughs> no, I'm just like <laughs> one of the bros. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just one of the I'm bros. I'm just the new one that pops in like three times a year. Yeah. Hell we yeah. love that. You're permanently on the pod now. <laughs> <laughs> Kendall and I relate because we're both from Michigan. Hell yeah. We're both from the worst state in America. Is it? Ohio's like right there. I mean, okay. Say, we're and both like, from the second worst and, state. We could definitely say a Dakota is somewhere <laughs> higher than yeah, that. Yeah, I, I think I always forget that Dakotas even exist. Nebraska. There you go. Oklahoma. I just hate Michigan. I think we're a solid middle. What's the YouTuber scene in Michigan like? There isn't Non-existent, one. right? There isn't one. <laughs> How many pro- content creators were there? Like six? Like you, I probably know them. You know them all. all. I know streamer wise, there's Crub. Oh, yeah. I don't know who that is. Never yeah. mind. I guess not. He's in like <laughs> he bleep it drafted. Like, oh yeah, okay, yeah, like the yeah, bleep that too. Bleep, uh, yeah, <laughs> he, he's in. I love how much more salacious it sounds if yeah. you bleep it and it's just yeah. <laughs> like the beep. <laughs> yeah, no, there's really no content creator space in Michigan. I I found out that Kenny lived near me. I think. Right before I was about to move, yeah, dead ass. Like I think I tweeted something like, "I need a like a content creator friend here. I'm losing my mind." Well, you were you because you were in Michigan just for school, right? No, I'm born and raised there. No, oh, born and raised in Michigan. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that at mm-hmm. all. So, like, yeah, okay. I was born in Detroit, and I live. I'm so sorry. Well, I, I'm not, <laughs> first of all, <laughs> first of all, every time like I had a friend who was visiting Detroit, and every he tweeted about it. He was like, "What am I supposed to do in Detroit?" I'm like, "Hello." <laughs> like I'm right there, but then everybody was like, "Go home, get shot." I'm like, first of all, first of all, he's go to not going factory, to he's not go going to, to Gotham. <laughs> it's a, it's a city. Downtown like, Detroit is very nice. Like there, is I it? mean, downtown yes. Detroit is. Ch- huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. No, we're no, dealing with. See, here's the thing. I feel Mich- like I'm constantly like falling on the sword. For no, <laughs> no, all the story. This is good. No, I didn't know the like, story existed. Yeah. I think that the way people, I, I don't perceive Detroit to be that bad. I bet there's like cool hipster bars and like things that people have picked up. I mean, up. Detroit proper, especially now, is pretty hipstery, like downtown. That's yeah, mm. that's what I can see. The gentrified area, yeah, is hip, like hipster. Very it's really nice. Yeah. Um, and then like in Metro Detroit, there's areas like Ferndale and Royal Oak mm-hmm. that's becoming like the little like hipstery areas. Okay. Yeah. Um, I can see that those are my there. streets before I left. Yeah, I used was, to get tacos there every week. Yeah, that's why you're such a hipster. <laughs> yeah, got him, dude. Man, shut up. I mean, there's got nothing him. else really to do. Like, I think if one thing I will complain about Michigan about is like, I don't know if it's just because I'm born and raised there, but it feels like there's nothing to do. Mm-hmm. Really, mm. and like I'm like I was trying to like my whole last year, my whole like. 2023 was like trying to get out of my comfort zone Mm -hmm. and like do things like socially. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. And so like one of the things I did was download Eventbrite and look for things to do. And it ended up being like make kombucha, learn how to uh, blacksmith. (laughs) That's actually pretty cool. That's kind of (laughs) cool. That's pretty cool. It was kind of expensive and I didn't feel like driving like four hours up 
basically to the Upper Peninsula to do it. But and then do yoga with middle aged retirees and die. Like there's nothing else to do that's there. No, oh, that's pretty good. No, do they have make a store dying? Yeah, or is yeah. it, how do you get it's the pretty dying? cheap these days? <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel you because like whenever I lived in Not Michigan, it's but like for yeah, you. Yeah, but your dad. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck it. yeah. If, when I lived in Michigan, so I lived in Michigan most of my life. I left uh, for a year when I went to grad school. But um, yeah, all of my friends and I would do weekly would be go out to eat. Or go to a coffee shop and sit there. That is all you really can and, do. Or just literally drive around and listen to music in circles. Okay, let's go to Michigan. Vacation. Well, there's if you like nature or whatever. That's cool. I like to be honest, the problem with living here is there's too much shit going on all the time. You know what and I'm saying? Like if you're sitting at home, you feel like you're missing out. Yeah. Like, yes. fuck, dude, I could be doing this. We went to the mountains for a week. It was the best thing time of my life because there was nothing to do. And like, you and know. that's the one reason why I'm not moving from Michigan, I mm, think, yeah. because I feel like if I was on a coast, because those are probably most likely where I would decide to go. Yeah, I would be overstimulated all the time. Yeah. So I kind of like the idea of like popping over to New York and popping over to L.A. every few months and just like, hey, everybody, yeah. I'm not it's not super special because I plan to come back regularly. So it's not like if you miss me this time, you'll probably see me the next time or whatever. But um. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of having this like boring little hub I can go to and be a hermit and then like come out in a month or two. That's so, I mean, also, is your family still in Michigan? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's the thing like. And like friends from college and stuff. Yeah. It's the same thing with me. Like I have my normal friends here. So it's like, Mm. I don't really, it's cool that all these content creators happen to move close to me. Mm. But like when I grew up out here, it's like, I stay here. I don't stay like in LA. Mm. And then when I want to go to LA, I go to LA and do the content creator shit. Then I just drive back home and I'm like kind of in a small town again you know like a chill that is something that i'm like kind of wrapping my head around because like because of michigan being so isolated from everything else i also struggle with seeing myself as a content creator at all really yeah and just just because of the social aspect of like oh i'm gonna go hang out with like these people at this event for whatever yeah, reason. Yeah, a little bit. Like, well, let's get into your content because your content, like, I, I feel like you're all over. It's a mess. Yeah, but no, <laughs> you're one of those. It's, it's a beautiful no, it's, mess, it's, though. It's, Thank it, you. No, it's, awesome. it's a beautiful mess awesome. because <laughs> when we were like, when I was like trying to figure out like how what do, we, do you do? How do we? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like, how do we talk to Kenny? Like, what the fuck does she do, dude? What the fuck? <laughs> Bro, this shit's ass. No. <laughs> <laughs> this shit's dog shit. Let's no, not you bring can fight, her over you can fight at him. all. You can fight him if you want. No, no. I, like looked, I looked into your extensive career. You started, it said, oh, you know, God. Oh. But what's sick about it is you do whatever the fuck you want, which most yeah. people can't do that. Mm-hmm. And that's mm. so rare. That's like what the dream in content creation is. Is like, hey, this week, I'm, I'm feeling this. I'm going to do it. You know? Mm. I feel like we've been talking to... A lot, like a, a lot of the creators that we've had on so far, mm. uh, mo- almost all of them, besides Josh, fuck Josh. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> Josh is Josh is one of my close friends. But anyway, Josh could honestly do whatever. Fuck Josh. Josh. No, but no, but they could do whatever. Sorry, they, they could do. <laughs> they you're could probably do, cool. Yeah, he's nice. <laughs> Josh, if you're watching, you're not watching. Dude. <laughs> you suck. I, Josh, if you're watching, go to bed, dude. Yeah, you it's suck. Like, he's bro. old as fuck. He's dude. Old as fuck. <laughs> you're like. Like forty. He is. He is forty. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed I'm sorry. It. Like, I know. I'm gonna get the, a, like a FaceTime from him and be like, it's "What's the new, up?" It's the new twenty-five. Yeah. Sorry. Damn. If forty is the new twenty-five, what's twenty-seven? Sixteen. Yeah, I'm a minor. Fetus. We're going through the angst right now. We're reliving our teenage angst. <laughs> I can't live that Dude. again. So, so, so as I was going through all of your stuff, I was mm. like, well. You never had a pop off moment, which is crazy in content, right? Mm. You had like you just kind of fuck that. Camera, You're good. You're, You're good. I got it. Oh, it makes a noise. That's good. Yeah, because yeah. mine would just say "fuck you" and it, it turned off 40 minutes ago. And I oh yeah, no, that happens all the time. But anyways, you never had like a pop. You you kind of grew steadily. You've been doing yeah. this for like what over very years. long time. At yeah, this point. which is cool because you also made a fan base. You never like. You, I feel like someone becomes that guy or that person, and then you're stuck with that. Mm. If you grow slowly, you like you're not stuck with I'm that guy or I'm that thing. Mm. Like I was even looking like your most popular video is about fucking lip gloss. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was when I did makeup content more regularly. So like, okay, 
I started the channel when I was like 16, 17. Yeah. And I'm almost 30 now. So that. That's 50. That's, that is like the, that's fucking insane. Yeah. So. So you've been a creator for 15 years. Give or take. Yeah. Uh, so like 13, something like that. And when I started, I was learning Korean. That's what I made the channel for. Yeah. Is because I had no one to practice with for a foreign language. So I wanted to just like speak and be embarrassing and be like, yeah, I know this is bad. Tell me how it's bad. And it did not work. Like no one helped me. <laughs> they just said, you sound terrible. And that was it. So then I did more stuff about that. And then I went to college and then I like did stories about my study abroad experiences and that funny shit. And that kind of got me some momentum where people were like, I just like to hear you talk about stuff. And then. I have always fucking weirdos. Who are you? Yeah, you no. <laughs> sick freaks. Because like, I feel like I'm a magnet for weird experiences. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I had a, I did have a creative friend of mine. Uh, shout out to Mike over at Mr. Gigi. I was telling him about some random shit I was doing. And he was like, if anyone else had told me this, I would think they were lying. But unfortunately, this is like a reoccurring <laughs> thing. We're just some weird shit. Like when I was in Tracy Morgan's house and he was showing me a shark. Great. Now we have to hear that. Story. Yeah, yeah. Please. Um, I'm gonna put yeah. a button on that one. We'll put, it, we'll put a pin in yeah, that. Yeah, I'm putting a pin in it. Yeah. I want to hear about the Tracy Morgan um, story. You were in my house. Look at my house. <laughs> <laughs> I got sharks. <laughs> <laughs> no, these are the cool sharks. That, it's not that far off. <laughs> 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 hey, Kenny, you ever see a shark? <laughs> Uh, well, fortunately, he's a very um, he's a he's a, he's an energy certainly. Mm -hmm. Um, but and then I've always been like interested in makeup and all types of shit. So I was like, I don't see why I necessarily have to make the channel about a certain thing. Um, it's just me doing shit, and if you enjoy me doing shit, you'll enjoy the channel. And and by proxy, it does grow a lot slower that mm -hmm. way. Which, when I was like, like a baby, when I was like eighteen, nineteen, that kind of frustrated me. But I'm so grateful for that now. Mm -hmm. yeah. So like, I can kind of just do videos on shit, and for the most part, people are just like, I didn't plan to watch this today, but okay, and that's awesome. Especially like when I was like, okay, we're gonna go. I guess now I'm a commentary. <laughs> so like, Dude, I don't the know. No fat video slapped. Like, Thank you. It slapped. That I'm a big commentary head. So like when Same. I watched it. I was like, this is because I, 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 I've seen you like through Twitter. Like I mm. was like, this is my friend. Kenny's super nice. Blah, blah. I was like, OK, cool. And then like I started and then we met at the party when you lost yeah. your phone, you know, clearly. No. Yeah. No. Oh, my God. Dude. OK, so I, I was so bad. You're like, right. I mean, <laughs> oh, it's cool. I'm just going to stay here. So no, that's. <laughs> that was so I, was, I was so drunk. <laughs> like, was, You're like, was, that's cool. My phone doesn't. I was like, yeah, it was absolutely. OK. Losing so, your phone in a mansion is the fucking worst. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. <laughs> like, I don't even know where to start here. No, no, no. Well, okay. Well, it's not that interesting of a story, but uh, like, we were over at Jarvis's for his um his New Year's, New Year's party. Year, yeah. Um, and I just happened to be in the area for New Year's. Um, and I was excited, and me and my friend came, and she literally looked in the back of the Uber just to make sure that nobody left anything and she was like nothing we're good and i was like okay <laughs> and then <laughs> i i'm just really bad in social situations in general with like newer people because it's like a bunch of people from the area and basically the only people i knew there was you mm -hmm. and jordan i had yet to meet katie so i met her there i knew of her um and I knew Jarvis and he's like hosting. Yeah. So he doesn't really have time. So I'm like, oh no, social interaction yeah, is great. Yeah. Fuck yeah. And then my friend was there for like five minutes and she was like, you seem to have your bearings. I'm going to, I'm like, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Just pushes you from so, behind. No, so like, spread your wings. <laughs> like, go, you're off. And I was like, okay. Um, and so I got very drunk. <laughs> and then I was like, um, and once I was like kind of getting my like feel for the room, I was like, Huh, I'm stranded. Well, I don't know where my phone is. And then you end up making friends like that because you're like, 
I don't know where my phone is. Are you sitting on it? And then that's how how the night went. <laughs> and I remember calling it multiple times too. And it would not ring a few of the times. And, nope. and then we found it because apparently there's a find your friend's phone, which I didn't know existed until Jarvis like found it. And it was in like it was in Oakland or something. <laughs> was it in like what? Inglewood or something? Yeah, it was in Inglewood. My car, my phone was in Inglewood because, because it was in the Uber. Uber. Oh shit! And it was in his. I could see it in his parking lot. And um, oh, so it it was in the Uber. It was in the Uber. And so, <laughs> so your really sweet guy failed, <laughs> dude. Whoever he was, and I was like, I will give you money. Please give me my phone back. And he was like, I just pay for gas. And I was like, No, you you brave soul. I was lost out here. I was leaving like in a day, so mm. I needed my phone back. And sweet guy, like awesome. What the hell? He's finding you now. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> reverse iPhone found you. <laughs> like, by the way, are you back in town so you can lose it again? <laughs> and I can make a few bucks. I could really like, need gas. I, could, I really need gas right now. Can you find it? <laughs> but yeah. Um, so, but yeah, like I do find that I've been interacting with a lot of like commentary YouTubers just by proxy of me talking a lot. Am I the lint or is it? The lint's coming from, I think from oh, this. So you're is it like spiritual? It. Okay. It is spiritual. It's it ghost is, lint. It is my no fat. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> okay, I wa- okay the no fat the video. We were ta- right before we started the pod, I was like, yo, that no fat video is so funny. Like they're coming after me. What, <laughs> what are they saying? I didn't see that part. So it's not, I, I'm being a bit hyperbolic. Like yeah, they're not yeah, that yeah. intense. Most people are like, this is funny, but I did see a few comments, uh, I guess for reference, if anybody listening or watching this, I just did a video talking about me falling down the no fat rabbit hole. Basically, the people that have this whole like spiritual or like pseudoscience association with like avoiding masturbation. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, my favorite thing was that in the beginning of the video, you were like, you said. I was just gonna do this for myself, but then I decided to make a video. I was like, "Motherfucker, you went down the no <laughs> 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 You're like, "Hey, I'm really into this." You're like, no, <laughs> no, but that's kind of how my brain works. Just in general, I'm currently in another rabbit hole right now, like a preface. I guess like before, it's probably gonna turn into a video. So there's like, um, okay. I'm going to finish a thought first. We'll finish the no fat yeah, thing yeah, yeah. and then we'll, we'll, we'll come finish, back. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So I made a video about that because I like right before no fat November, I was like, where did that come from? And that's how I got in the rabbit yeah. hole. Um, and I had been there for so long <laughs> and I needed to figure out how to like make this time worth it. <laughs> Um, because it was just getting darker and darker the farther I went, and I was like, I need to tell somebody about this. I need to warn someone that their child is going on no fap, and they're not doing it for like any normal reason. It's like anti-Semitic or <laughs> you know, just like vibing. And that was the thing that got me. I was like, what does that have to do with anybody other than you, really? Oh, and also like, well. There's like the pseudoscience where it's like you become hotter because you don't fap. And then there's like the and your voice gets deeper and like your facial hair comes in more evenly and your hair gets shinier. and You like have a testosterone peak. So you get more muscular. Yeah. They, That's insane. They, they, that. There's literally studies on that. They're like, yeah, it peaks after seven days and it goes back down. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. That's what I found out, too. Yeah. I, I find like. <sighs> Never mind. No, no, please. Go no, ahead. Keep okay. going. All right. Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to find a way to word that. Okay. With semen retention, doesn't it, <laughs> doesn't it increase your risk to prostate cancer if you do it for long periods of time? I heard that. That's what I've read. So, well, speaking from experience. <laughs> <laughs> As someone with a prostate. <laughs> no, there. I looked into it because I, wa- I was like back in the day, I wanted to do something on like a video as well. Mm. And I looked into Don't it. Don't lie. You just wanted to do no fat for yourself. I just didn't want to jerk off you for like just, a week. You just wanted okay. to have an even beard. I, it's not gonna happen. It didn't work. No, I didn't, it didn't work. It didn't work. I'm gonna be honest. No, so it like I looked it up because I was like, I was like gonna make a video or was arguing with someone. I forgot what it was for. This is like back in the day, like during COVID. And mm. basically, I know that after seven days, you hit this like testosterone peak and then it just declines as if you like fucking fapped. So mm-hmm. basically, these people are like semen retention, all this other bullshit. Uh, but it's all it, it's all nonsense. And then there's something about the prostate cancer. Yeah, if you don't 
masturbate, you're like at a higher risk. I think if you do it every day, you're at a lower risk of prostate cancer. I'd imagine it's something like a like a wine cork, like too much pressure. Yeah. I don't understand. Science. What is semen retention? You're going to absorb it back into you think so, that you eat the little guys and then they go into your bloodstream and you get more juice? Have you ever seen sea monkeys, dude? It's the same thing. I, oh. I likened it to like a lithium battery of cum power. That you, know, like, you can just like be somebody was like you like you essentially become Wolverine and like you can uh, all some, my dreams uh, like oh, finally <laughs> you don't rap I'm gonna become Wolverine Raph, can I be honest Kenny I think a better version of your video was I tried no fat for 30 days <laughs> and I got no senior and I, attention <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I glow in the dark now. <laughs> 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 yeah, I grew semen after 30 days. I have, I have I have I have a couple friends who are like, if you if you masturbate, you're not a man. And I'm like, that seems not true at all. <laughs> Andrew Tay the other day tweeted, he's like, if you want to have sex with a woman, you're gay. <laughs> it's true though. It's true Bro, though. It's getting it's true. insane. It's true. If the, you want to have sex with a woman, homophobic, you're gay. The homo Dude, if you like women, straight men are getting so, <laughs> so gay that they're coming all the way back around. You know what I'm saying? They're going all the way back, dude. That's how I felt like there was this like whole discourse about whether or not it was gay to like muscular women. And I was like, so are you asking, is it gay for you as a man to like women? And they're like, I don't know, sweaty. Maybe like, you might be on to something. I don't know. There you go, dude. <laughs> Capri, Capri's holding back, but he does have some, he does have I, someone in his family no, who loves I, I muscular exactly. women. Okay, <laughs> and he's gone on that same narrative. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Capri, hold yeah. on, <laughs> hold on. He's like my cousin. He's, no, he's, he's definitely no, he's definitely gay for liking having, women with my muscles. Cousin is all, okay, I'm not gonna say that. Do not disclose anything. <laughs> this person is also slightly or maybe homophobic. So I was That's trying to the irony. I was trying to explain exactly. Okay. So I was like, "Hey, bro, like I know you're homophobic, but that's just kind of gay, you know." What I'm just, <laughs> well, if we're trying to okay, in the context of like men who are homophobic but are interested in something that is traditionally masculine, I think it's fine. That's what I'm you saying. get a pass in this context. That's what I'm saying. Yes. I'm not. I'm not saying that. Like, I'm just saying that. Like, also, the women that he sends me in RAF would beat the shit out of me. Like. <laughs> would fuck me up and then he's like hey man this is a good looking woman and then he's like but I don't like that gay shit it's like bro are you <laughs> like what is going on maybe he just likes to get beaten up okay yeah. he, time, maybe. he tell us in a group chat that he said that he wants a girl to pick him up and throw him against the wall yeah, I think so what? yeah I did he's a big guy too maybe <laughs> That's, that's I have to like I've had I'm, listen, like, computing like the level of confusion. I fight dirty with people, <laughs> with any any person who's gonna be like homophobic or racist or sexist or whatever. I get down in the trenches. Okay? <laughs> I, and may, I think that's the only way to. I do may it, call honestly. you gay if you're homophobic. That's just how that's just how it's gonna work. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I will tell you I that say, I am who you're afraid of. I will say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are what you fear. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, he's like oh, homosexuality. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, he's like, me no <laughs> I'm not getting gay I just, just want to get picked up and fucked I, like, I think that's the funniest part About like when we talk about like Things that make men gay And none of it is like fucking a man And I think that's hilarious Yeah, <laughs> You do have a point I mean there's even, there's even not, the, not, oh. No you're using it for Good Yeah you're I'm looking, like Batman it, Like that, You know right. it's like his greatest fear I use it against him Yeah, I think that's how Batman works yeah, um, I haven't kept yeah. up with his lore recently. So <laughs> you have what? Uh, I haven't kept up with recently. Batman. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The Batman lore is <laughs> pretty gay is recently. <laughs> oh, dude, he's been in Cabo for the past three months. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, Kenny's tweets are my favorite tweets on Twitter. Oh God, no! And but your boba one I quote regularly. <laughs> <laughs> that you want somebody to suck the eggs out of your ovaries like oh boba? God, yeah. Dude. I said that one time and people lost their fucking mind. I've said things and people always say, oh, why would you say that? And then like five seconds later, I get it, though. Then don't get it. Exactly. Don't, don't agree yeah. with me. <laughs> the, the first time I said it online, it was like right when I started became a content creator. Yeah. And my friend was like, you do realize you have like a digital footprint, right? I'm like, yeah. Yeah. And the point still stands. <laughs> but so the big thing on the Internet currently is Girthmaster. Hell yeah, it is. And I DM'd her and I was like. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god, he follows you, Lucky. Why does he follow we, we you? Try, I told her I was like, we need to get him on this fucking podcast. I think we can get. I think we can get can Girth you, on here. Can you get him while I'm? <laughs> yeah. Like Kenny, no, Kenny, if we can get Girth on, you're coming back. You're coming. I'm not coming. professional. But I'm, saying, but I'm just interested. So, we got you. So and he's Australian and he looks like six eight or something like he's that. Really uh, he's really tall. He's tall. Yeah. So. I didn't know who Girthmaster was until a couple months ago because my chatters were like, you should collab with Girthmaster. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> and I was like, who the fuck is Girthmaster? <laughs> so then they sent me his Twitter and I was like, do you want me to collab with the wine bottle? <laughs> <laughs> What's yellow yellow foot or whatever the fuck it is? I can see a thumbnail frog and go. (laughs) 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 Holy shit! No, like I was saying wine bottle, but I'm not even exaggerating. It literally, literally it literally frightens me. It's literally the length and the thickness of a wine wine bottle. bottle. (laughs) And. People were judging me for following on Main. I've done worse things on Main. <laughs> Fuck off. No, and the thing is, I'm like, and I was like, oh, like Girth Master. And then he started like liking my tweets and shit because he kept tagging my tweets. I was like, oh my God, like he's like liking my shit. And then I tweeted about, I'm pulling up the tweet. I have it in our DMs. <laughs> he, he retweeted this tweet and I'm like, I think he misinterpreted this, but you know what? We're going to go along we're gonna with go it. We're going to go with it. <laughs> um, I literally said to like, because currently as we're filming this that's kind of the thing on twitter right now is girth master <laughs> and i retweeted it like oh i saw it he deserves every penny <laughs> <laughs> and he keeps lighting liking the whole thread but don't follow i i, I mm. noticed girth master maybe he has a crush on you he's we're a gonna, little shy we're gonna secure you know the my girth friend follow. is also delusional enough to say shit like that too <laughs> <laughs> so saying, hey, I've got crazy friends just like you, Raph. Like, I love that. If your friends don't support your delusions, are they really your friends? There are two people. I don't want to say who the other person is. The, well, my friend, can, if you want to, we can bleep it out. No, and I, just, just, I just added my friend for being homophobic. <laughs> yeah, that's true. No, there are two people that my friend was like, it's because he likes you. I was like, he literally doesn't know who I am. <laughs> like, I, he does not know who I am. He loves your music. He's listening to your Spotify. He found you there. Doubt it. <laughs> I tweeted. I said, my doctor just my doctor just described my vitamin D levels as ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, that's it. He liked it. What did he he do? He retweeted it. Oh, he just retweeted it. And then I saw the like actual levels. I'm surprised you're still alive. Uh, They're probably worse now. I have a goal to make them undetectable. Well, your vitamin D? Mm -hmm. Your actual vitamin. Are you okay? (laughs) All Arabs are deficient. Yeah. So right now, the last time I got it checked was like almost two years ago at this point. It was four or five. Is Arabs and black people? Percent or like the number four or five? It's because we're not supposed to be. Micrograms or some shit. Be 50. We're supposed to be in the sun, yeah. and that's why we're just like, yeah, we're inside. Yeah, <laughs> but then I he retweeted that, and then I noticed he followed me way before I knew who the fuck he was. And I was like, okay, and then I followed but him back. I know who you are, and you don't follow me. <laughs> and, and, but the people start tagging him, they're like, you should go on the A Rabs podcast. He kept liking it. I was like, bro, we, uh, we got it. Right now, I don't know where he is. Girth, girth, we're gonna go to we're going to compare. <laughs> We're not going to compare. We're going to compare. It's that gonna is be one great. thing I envy for men. Here goes the like fucking. Uh, the dick, dick compare size. The, the penis envying like incel people. No, dude, wait, I have wait. no envy. That thing looks heavy as fuck. No, no, no. What I mean is like, I wonder how big my dick would be if I was a dude. You know what? No. Me too. It's all about personality. You guys wonder? Yeah, yeah. now I do. Because there's no like real thing to let you know well if you're italian it's um, it's automatically huge so you're no really that. no yes number seven number seven in the world you, we had this conversation the other day because i was like i was like italian american i was like do men compare their dicks because i was like i feel like the girlies don't really compare any, like i guess like the only like, i can't compare, compare my vagina con- was this a conversation we had on the podcast or no it was, no, a, it was a personal conversation yeah we were working I've had <laughs> conversations with friends where we Discuss vagina, like if you have an inny or outy. Yeah. <laughs> Does, it look like, like, oh, Does it look like a demi gorgon or like what is it, dude? Vaginas it's look. Like, they have sock vaginas where they just hang down. Is that no, an outy? No, it's like. Some- <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm so sorry, Kenny. 
I'm so sorry. I've, I've, what again, the, I've said, what the I've fuck? said mm, way worse. It's fine. What the fuck? Is it, now, are you giving Arby's roast beef sandwich or right. is it like, like, it's, like, it's a lip thing. It's a lip thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I knew that. Thing. You or wouldn't like get clitoris, it. I've had sex. Like clitoris sizes and, and stuff like that. I've briefly talked with friends about that, but it's not like a regular conversation. Like, yeah, I'm a pussy. So I'm not making the sign. I can't think of all the euphemisms for my pussy, but I, you know. Yeah, no. Cause we, I've never had conversations like that either. Like even growing up, like with my one friend I've known for 20 plus years, we've never had that conversation. You should have it today. I've never had a Hey, what's your coochie look like? So I can know <laughs> so I can know if it's we're like, on the same page. We've known each other for so long. I need to know what your coochie looks like. Describe it to me in detail. <laughs> no, but like because we were talking, because I was like, I feel like titties. But I haven't yeah. ever showed any of my friends my boobs either. My friends have seen my boobs by proxy, but not like just flash and titties. I guess, yeah, I guess it could relate to that in a like, sense. Because some of my friends, we went to Korea together and there's like a big, there was like a bathhouse and it's like a, almost a rite of passage amongst our friends. We were like, you got to go to the like sauna slash public bath. And so it's, it's interesting how normal it is to just like be talking with your titties out once you get past the initial shock of it. Mm -hmm. It's just titties. Yeah, yeah. Not, yeah. yeah, it's just it's just titties. But I, <laughs> I don't like but I don't feel like dudes are just walking around with no, their no. friends talking about their penis, or the, maybe they are. The, it, the I think that dudes are young dudes are not, and then once you hit like sixty five, your dick is out at the locker room, and you're just oh, having I a thought like you know conversation. Yeah, I was so <laughs> confused right now. I was like, what? They're just no. You hit sixty five years old, your dick's out. You don't care at that point. What's what do you have left to lose? You know what I'm saying? Your dick. When you go, have you been to a gym locker room? Ain't nobody there naked with their dick out swinging around under the age of 65. A hundred percent. Mine is. You just can't see it. No, I can't. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> Sorry, so I was saying so. Okay. okay. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> then let's not get Chris Master on. Hold on. It's okay. <laughs> you can't. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you for saying that. You're welcome. Oh, the God, entire sorry, podcast, Raph's right? like so. So what do you do with your penis? Why did my voice get that? <laughs> oh, because he is, emasculated oh, you. Because you're being timid. Um, you're being timid around a I'm big, being timid. Oh. <laughs> is that girth? Yeah. Oh, no. Is that the girth master cast? No, please. please. Come on the show. His dick I is here <laughs> until Sunday. No, please. listen. Imagine. So, or I'll extend. <laughs> <laughs> imagine we, we find out he's coming to America. Oh, because he's in Australia. Yeah. yeah, he's in Australia. He's an Aussie. Well, let me know oi, when he oi, gets oi. here. No, oh, just, just DM me like, hey, listen, there's a couple of Arabs here that really want to have a conversation and with And a you. black chick who's here yeah. Until, yeah. until Sunday. <laughs> like, I'm just curious. Research purposes. <laughs> I just want to know. <laughs> like, and, and he's just like this the whole podcast. Like, so, like, <laughs> when did you realize that you had a third leg? <laughs> Well, he's so in that case, he's had to have compared it to somebody else, and it had to have been one of his There's friends. There's literally right? a picture on his just, profile of I, him holding his dick next to a wine bottle. Yeah. Okay, can I be honest with you? Uh -huh. How do you need to compare it? You just if you type in any porn, you could just be like, "Oh yeah, well, mine's a lot bigger than these guys." That's well, there, well, there's a scale. Is it I mean, more so than even big? <laughs> it's his name is is well equipped for him. There's a girth. Yeah. Okay. He's like as long as he is wide. And it's it, it's essentially a circle. Wow. <laughs> circle of life. It's like a hockey puck. I feel a circle. cocky puck. We'll get, <laughs> we'll get through it. <laughs> <laughs> there should be a porn star on the opposite side that's just as big as as he as big as, as small as he is big. Mini master. <laughs> Mini master. <laughs> Microtransaction. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Micro master. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to see, see the extremes. Microaggression. <laughs> his that one's good. That one's I want to see the extremes. His is the extreme. Have you seen it? But I want to see the other extreme. Have you seen it? Yeah, I have. You fucking. You're the one who fucking. You literally go Capri. Have you heard of Girth Master? <laughs> Look at this. And I'm Giant. like. It was funny because I was what I me and my friend went to go see Hereditary in theaters yesterday because they had like a special showing mm -hmm. and right before I was about to say like that movie came out a like lot, six like years a ago. No, they had it in IMAX and they were doing like a special showing for okay. some reason. Um, it was better in IMAX than I remember it because something about the sound just makes it crazy. Um, but 
I was, the, the movie was about to start, so I was like turning the sound off on my phone and shit. And I just happened to check Twitter in the <laughs> first thing. Just like, oh. I will say, I follow him, but I haven't muted. Yeah. I do not. <laughs> That, I probably should. That's the difference between streamers and YouTubers is that we're live. So the only thing I think of is like that dick is going to oh, come up I on see, my I screen. Literally, I, was like, I was like, with my fucking luck, uh, I'll get banned. It happened with me and fucking Carmi, dude. She posted a thirst trap. I went live. I, I talked about this on the stream. I went live and then this is like ass. And then I'm like, thank you so much. I, that was now shown. I make it fucking banned. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, <laughs> I was like, awesome, dude. You know? I sit there and think, like, I wish I showed more ass, but I'm self-conscious. I can't do it. Not even for, like, a body positive, like, be like, yeah, he's a fat ass. on But it's just more like, <laughs> I grew up really religious, so there's always still a part of me that's kind of like. Like a religious guilt kind of thing? Yeah, I'm like. Eh? <laughs> like, I don't, like, it's like, question mark? No, I feel like it's like a weird thing where you're just like, you grew up religious, and then you, like, realize you're not as religious as you are. You're just like, huh, I have to unlearn everything I've learned. To like, what do I do with my ass now? Again, <laughs> yeah. I can't take it off and like put it somewhere like, like the way I wanted to do before. Yeah, so. what are you doing? <laughs> and these tables are made for eating. I thought. <laughs> <laughs> what a waste! Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I always thought like a va- like a bathroom vanity was just strictly sink, maybe a couple of util- like utensils yeah. and stuff like that. Uh, it's only like in my like. I guess like the early twenties when people started taking thirst traps, and I was like, "Oh, it could be used for so so much more." I've never, <laughs> I don't think I've, I've never taken a thirst trap. Never taken Same. a thirst trap. Dude. All right, well, today on the air, yeah! on the is that Patreon how we episode. get the girth master, the yeah. girth I'll do what needs to be done, Doctor Girth. <laughs> Check out this thirst trap. Okay. If I'm not followed by him by the time this goes up, I have a vendetta. I'm about to be like. Follow her, please. Because she won't <laughs> shut the fuck up about it. <laughs> what was he saying? He'd make 80, 80K a month or 40 something? 40 to 80K a month. My God. That's wild, dude. Ooh. He deserves it. Yeah, it's worth it. Hard oh, working man. man. Uh, yeah. A um, lot of blood. <laughs> lot of matches. Yeah, I wonder, like, does that... Does he you say must conscience? get, like, faint <laughs> after that, right? You must get faint? Yeah, like, like, you, must, like you must, like, rush. all your blood is rushing to your hog, so you're probably just, like... <laughs> Like this most of the time. Lightheaded, <laughs> yeah, lightheaded. Do you think people with like giant peepees get lightheaded? They, yeah. they still have the same amount of blood going through their system. Have you but seen it, his? Yeah, but, <laughs> but where does the blood come from? It was already in the peepee. Is it soft that big? But how does it get? How does how it does, engorge? Well, no, it like all rushes oh. to the to. Where does it come? I the don't know. Blood, the blood doesn't just stay in the peepee. It's not just. That's not what it's for. It's not filling with blood. Do you think your peepee? Yes, it is. It has to fill with blood to swell. Do you not know how your own penis works? Wait, my blood. My penis is just blood. Yes. I thought it was muscle. <laughs> no. Well, the, well, it expands. The, the blood, like ex- it's blood and muscle. So like it engorges. Yeah. From well, I get that. It's like getting a pump. It's like coming. You know, from Arnold Schwarzenegger. What if you get a nosebleed every time you get hard? Well, you wouldn't because all the blood's factory is back in. Yeah, (laughs) it's your body taking a screenshot. (laughs) Yeah, press your asshole on your nipple, reset yourself. (laughs) Hello, (laughs) Girthma. Oh Oh, man. One last thing about him, I was like, I was like, if we ever had him on, like, I feel like I wouldn't be able to look him in the eye. Just his hog. No, not even his. The way the way frog is, she's like. I'm not a weird. No, I'm not weird. I just I get shy. Why would you get shy? You shy? He's I just get a man. it. I get it because like I have some friends of mine who we followed each other prior to them making sexual content, mm-hmm. and so then it like switched over. And I'm thinking of you as like a beauty guru, and I've seen your asshole, and mm-hmm. I don't know how to. We're still besties, but also I've seen your asshole, <laughs> so I don't really know what to say. You don't feel now. closer to them after seeing their asshole. We don't discuss it, but I've seen your asshole a lot. <laughs> like, and I don't, like, it's like, I still love you, but like. I've seen your ass. Yeah. I've seen your asshole. Yeah. Seen your dick and balls. And it's like, great. Capri didn't talk to me for like one month because I was like shirtless in one picture. Wait, really? Like yeah. yeah. What do you mean? Dude, it was I. Oh, I opened Twitter. That, that I was, I was shirtless in a picture. Or <laughs> <laughs> that Capri wasn't talking to me. Both. <laughs> no, I mean he was jealous of you shirtless. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was angry. I was like, "What the fuck is this?" And then I tweeted it. I tweeted your tweet. Actually, I was not. I was not angry. I was not. 
mad. <laughs> I think I was more mad at your tweet. You're like, I want someone to, to does my nose. I was bleed. weak, dude. Yeah, bro, that was a bad tweet. Dude, dude. I was weak. And dude, was, we all. I feel like we all got, had was, our worst was, moments on. I Twitter. was going through it, and these motherfuckers took my tweet and just roasted me for it was, a week. Can you tell? Can you tell? It. Can you tell what the tweet was? No. Yes. <laughs> okay. It was bad. I was like, I just want. I was like, oh, I just want someone who will love me for all my nosebleeds that I have. And I was like doing one of these. Um, and then yeah. we all copied. So our friend Murr copied and pasted and tweeted it. I was like, fuck it. Oh me. And, and then we all ratioed him too. Yeah, <laughs> all ratioed me. <laughs> I'm talking like over 10,000 likes. He was likes. already down bad. It was yeah. like, you could be I definitely five, down worse. I think I had five. So they all thought. So everybody who saw my tweet thought I was copying it from them. And it wasn't my original tweet. It was. <laughs> Sucked. <laughs> Raps like, okay, it was a bad tweet. <laughs> okay, I'm never gonna be vulnerable on the internet ever. Again. No, the, the line was crossed with people outside of a friend group started doing it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, when yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. call me never fucking mind. ass down, bitch. You don't know him like that. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Yeah, Calm that's down. my quirky friend. <laughs> I, I support you guys doing it. We really, I, you know, I never want to do it. It was pretty funny. I love all the violence, <laughs> all the shots. Oh man! So Kenny, uh, one thing that we were kind of we were just like doing some op research on you, doing try, <laughs> trying to trying to. Yeah. Um, we did come we did come across your Spotify and no. you make fucking bangers. Yay! We like were listening make, to it on the way uh, yeah. to the office yesterday. Yeah, awesome. and I was like, "Damn, JoJo Seawall's out here saying like I'm gonna bring back gay pop, girl." <laughs> you, I've you, made gay you, pop. You've been making gay pop for, <laughs> for years now. <laughs> And so did the girl that originally made the song. I even, yeah. <laughs> the fact that she yeah. charted is insane. <laughs> she stole it? Look, look, okay. No, I think she bought it, right? She bought it from Well, no, her. because I was going back and forth because I was confused because I was kind of nosy about that too. I was yeah. like, so wait a second. Like people buy songs or whatever, but yeah. from what I understand, someone was asking about it because everyone found it mm -hmm. and she was like i don't know who that is and that's when everybody was like oh dude and she said she was like yeah i wrote this song when i was 18 years old oh and she I, did say that yeah, she yeah. Did, yeah. she's like and oh, i decided funny. i'm not gonna release it until i'm ready to when i'm older <laughs> this is this impersonation yeah, who's she's she's like, who's she doing car who does she need karma from at 18 years old dude to chill out hey, i think she's just going through her first like lesbian heartbreak she's cheated before she's cheated. she cheated on her girlfriend oh never mind yeah, yeah. yeah. she's been, know, she's been out here cheating yeah no she cheated Listen. When did she cheat? When did we find? She out cheated out? on one of the TikTokers she was dating. You know, I saw JoJo Siwa at Disneyland, Disney World in 2021, and I got so starstruck. Really? I don't know why. I was, I, was like, I was like, JoJo Siwa was right next to me. You, you guys to be on find dance that she gets starstruck a lot? Not really. No. The thing is, no, not not anymore. Because mm. I feel like it, like becoming a content creator. Oh, be I careful. feel like. Be careful with what you say. Because you do get starstruck. Like with all who? All the time. With who? Literally <laughs> all the time. You, we just you. had a whole conversation do about I how know? Girth Master is going to be here. You wouldn't be able to look him in the face. Because I'd be yeah. nervous. I'm not, not starstruck. <laughs> not starstruck. <laughs> it's more so just like, wow. Let me let me explain. No, Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm not, okay. Becoming a content creator and like interacting with some of these creators that like mm. I grew up watching. And I'm just like, oh, now they're like. Like here. tangible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's a very weird experience now. Mm. Uh, but I feel like, unless it's somebody like fucking like Jake Gyllenhaal, I'd be like, I feel like I'd be shook. But con like within like the YouTuber space mm. or like content no, creator space, you got a little starstruck when we met uh, Peter from Vanderpump. Yeah, because it's like fucking reality shit. Do you watch <laughs> Vanderpump? I know no. you like every. <gasps> I know you like reality shows and shit like that. Vanderpump Rules, one of the best fucking shows ever. Is that? Is that? Um... Lisa Vanderpump's like bar show. They, uh, they, they oh. work at Sir. Is yeah. Her name, yeah. Ooh. It's like a restaurant. In, it's literally based around a restaurant in LA. Yeah, but like I got, I got shy. I got nervous. But I was like, start like. I feel like <laughs> I'm trying to think. There, are, there the posture <laughs> change is a little. They might be giving away. <laughs> they're, more they're than they're I, think. I do not get started. <laughs> no, there are definitely creators. I do get like a little like excited to meet. Mm. Um, I can't think of anybody. Currently, I, I feel like if I met like Anthony Padilla, I'd get really excited. Didn't we meet uh, Adam from Smosh, and you were okay? No, so Ian from <laughs> Ian, my bad. Ian, okay, Ian, no, I, I so Ian, Ian from Smosh was at a party we both were at the other day, and I got too shy to say anything. 
<laughs> I'm trying to think of like a creator I would be afraid to say something to. I never. Um, the thing is, is like I don't, I don't get starstruck, but whenever I see like people who I'm like really like infatuated with, I'm always like, I don't know, I don't have anything to fucking say to them. Mm. It's just like, oh, cool, they're here, mm-hmm. but like, what am I gonna go up to them and talk about? At best, like, all I, I do is kind of like go up to people and say, hey, I, I really like your work, mm-hmm. um, and. Usually that like starts conversation up, but I'm an awkward noodle in general. So yeah. like when it starts to get like okay, I don't know, well have a good time mm-hmm. <laughs> and then walk out. Even even with the creator friends that I've made, I'm like mm-hmm. I, I still don't even know what to talk to you about. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like I feel like everyone's so busy, so it's hard to like even get people together. Yeah, a lot of times. Yeah, so I think. <laughs> oh, did it turn off a while ago? No, no. She moved the camera. <laughs> With her nails, she's trying. Frogan is right now for everybody who can't see her and who's listening at home. A bit is trying debilitated to, by Is trying fashion. to do the cameras. <laughs> it's, it's, I remember I was trying to get out of a parking lot and I had my nails done and I couldn't grab my card, like my credit card out of it. Well, I don't know how they work because Frogan put nails on me one time and I couldn't get my pants off to like go use the bathroom. Or so pants just, back it, on. Yeah. It was hard. Was in the bathroom for like a good 20 minutes. Zoe, and all I did was pee pee. Huh? Is that when you did that at my house? Yeah. I was so funny. How long were they? <laughs> Girl, shut the fuck up. They were long. <laughs> like, they were long. Is it longer than this? They were longer than this. Uh, they were about that same size, about I would say. Okay. Yeah. No, they weren't. They were short. They were the same size. <laughs> Listen, dude. I, as someone who's been a woman the whole life, I know exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me about your experiences <laughs> as a woman. Oh, the streets. The streets? Ooh. The streets. How, yeah. What about the streets? Creeps. Uh. My baby! <laughs> I need your baby! Do you know why he's doing that? Because you said hi to him when you walked in there. I saw you do did it. I say to, hi? Yes, you did. And I fucking saw it. I was like, <laughs> Brogan, fuck That's this okay. up. okay! I was like, the minute you say hi, he's like, okay. I got up because I, I, okay, this would be a trauma dump. Okay. Okay. Frogan's trauma dumping right now. I love how beautifully open everyone was to the preface of it's going to be a trauma dump. No one, like, hesitated. They were just like, no, okay. we're good. Yeah. We're fine with it. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, everything's a trauma dump with all three of us. <laughs> Is that matcha or? Uh, potassium. Ooh. Maybe later. All right. Here, I got you. Tell, your, tell us about your trauma dump. I got it. I used my I used my muffin as a fucking microphone. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, hey, yo, test taste. Yo. <laughs> okay, so let me, let me drop a dump real quick. <laughs> yesterday I didn't eat a lot. Yeah. So when I woke up this morning, I was starving. Mm. That I threw up. Nothing. How did you throw up nothing? Is this a trauma dump? It, it was just, yeah, this is my trauma dump. I was like gagging. I was like, I can't, I'm so hungry, I'm gagging right now. Oh, like you've gotten so hungry that you can't eat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get it. And it was like right when I woke up, I'm like, it's too early for this shit. So then I was like, you know what? So I ate a, a half of a Jello cup before because I was like, Jell-O's kind of a weird texture and I don't feel like eating this in the morning. Okay. So then I got a chicken burger that I didn't really like. And now I'm so yeah, fucking I'm hungry. Trash. So I'm eating my pistachio muffin. Love that. It's okay, baby! <laughs> Sorry. See, Kenny lives in Michigan, so she's fucking near all the good pistachio shit. And I'm yeah. so jealous. There's a lot of so jealous. like lattes and, oh and my. muffins and you need to go to it's a... oh okay that's not well not to dos myself but that's not that far they have yeah. the best pistachio latte I've ever had in my fucking life mm. it's like a whole Yemeni coffee place when I, I I tried a place out in East Lansing that wasn't too bad but I can't go out to East Lansing that much because one it's really far away. And two, the only person I see out there is my friend who is happily in a relationship. So she never has time. Ugh. Gross. Gross. Be lonely like the rest of us. Lonely like the rest of us. What are you doing? Who are are just. I'm sick of those people. Ugh. Like I was, I, I was seeing a guy out there. So it gave me like a reason to go out there once. Then he got weird. (laughs) And that's just the. Let me want to talk about that. <laughs> That's what happens when you go for the Michigan State motherfuckers. Here's the thing. I, I, I'm hesitating because, like, I feel like each time I pop up on somebody's podcast, 
it somehow gets to my dating life, which is always so tragically bad <laughs> that I always have like something to say. And I'm like, I don't know if I want this to be my brand or like my relationship status is perpetually single because, because there is pee in the dating pool. Um, <laughs> But we also, don't have to get into it, but if you want to, <laughs> please be our guest. I love dating stories. That, I do too. Because my first date, so I, I'm my one of my first date ever really late in my life. Same. And I went on it with that person. I wasn't attracted to him at all, but I was like, you know what? Let me just get it over with so I don't feel like a fucking loser. Mm. <laughs> Healthy start to any relationship also. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't going to date him. I knew I didn't like him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to go on a date. Get, like, just get it over with. But then I was like also so fucking nervous. I was like, yo, like, what if this guy doesn't like I started getting all paranoid. I'm like, I don't even like this motherfucker, but I'm like, what if he doesn't like me? Um, <laughs> I get it. I no, hate I get that. that I, too. Get I get it. that too. I hate it so I get much. That. I get but I, and I was like so nervous. I was like, what if he thinks I'm like fatter in real life? Uh, I just I had a whole spiral. But then I was like, you know what, whatever, fuck it. I'm just gonna go. It was too, like an art. It was uh at the DIA. It's a uh, Oh yeah. Yeah. The art gallery. Classic. He was so fucking weird. He like explained every goddamn art piece we walked by. And quizzing me on the history and i was like and i, I was like i don't give a fuck like i was like whatever and then he's like do you dance what <laughs> <laughs> and i was like i mean i danced to my friend's wedding a couple years ago he's like i dance and he started doing like the edm foot shuffle in the middle of the fucking art museum to no music yes to no music or to like light jazz and i was literally mortified <laughs> yeah he also lied about his height I'm not a tall That's person. That's very common. That. Guys, come on. Listen, Stop lying about your height. Like, we can see. You can't say you're 5'10 and then be eye to eye with me. And I wore my <laughs> flattest fucking shoes that day. For for reference, <laughs> for reference, I'm six foot tall, yeah? And it's a thing that I re, like, hash every time I go to the doctor. I'm like, so how tall am I? And each doctor is like, you are exactly six feet. I'm like, bet. Damn right I am. <laughs> so, like, every time a dude is like, I am 6'8", I'm like, no, you're not. You're no, shorter you're, than me. No, you're not. No, you're you're, <laughs> defi- you're, you're definitely <laughs> like you're, Kendall. You're you're lying. You're like six five, and I'm like I'm not. <laughs> it's I don't. Is that understand. on a dating app? Yeah, we're talking yeah. about we're talking about dating. I, I just don't understand why people fucking lie. We're talking about the first she, date I went she, on. Yeah, I've the, got that sometimes where people are like, "Are you actually six two? I'm like, "What do you mean? They're like, because like a lot of people lie. Lie. I'm like, what what do they do? They're like they show up shorter. I'm like that is fucking insane. Because like, I think they, especially men, they um, they bake on women not being tall enough to notice what six foot actually is. <laughs> Here's the thing: they know they've been they studying it for years. Okay, they do know. <laughs> My eyes they are know. a fucking ruler. But I mean, when I was younger, I cared about height. But I'm, I'm like, I don't go. I don't really care either. It's just more so fuck. like it's just well, why lie about something so well. Okay, tiny. I just lied to you. I do care, but not for the height itself. It's just my experience is when I've dated people shorter, I have to deal with a lot more insecurities. Mm -hmm. On their side. Mm -hmm. On their side. Yeah. And it's like, oh, good. Yeah. Because I. What do they get insecure about? Just being like, I'm with a taller. Well, dude, you know how it is with guys. They like, they want to be. They're, no matter the who they are, boy. yeah. They, no matter who it as is, as an alpha myself, I've never had this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, as also an alpha uh, myself as well. <laughs> <laughs> alpha, have y'all ever heard of like Omega? Sorry, I got no, no. That's fine. no, no, no. Please, I want to go down a rabbit hole. Please, what we're, is we're, it? we're literally living your content right now. Yeah. <laughs> we're IRL. No, I'm down. I, I have I have really bad ADD. Please take me down. Same. With you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please. That's how we ended up there for six months. Yeah. <laughs> No, but I, to finish that thought, like, I don't tend to, I've, I've been told this multiple times, especially recently, like, essentially, in some way or another, every guy that I've gone out with in the last, like, two years has said either explicitly or implicitly that I'm intimidating. Uh, hmm. So, and they, and basically everyone I've dated has been, like, 6'3 plus. So, theoretically, if they're shorter, too, it's, like, this... Well, it's because you're successful. You're a, w- you're a woman, and they're and then if they're shorter, yeah, women are like, intimidating. I got that I don't know too. If you guys know this. I mean, <laughs> you're intimidating. You're intimidating for the wrong reasons. No, boom, boom, boom. Shut up. Shut up. No. <laughs> <laughs> you have me laugh like a fucking clown, dude. No. That's crazy. No, because I, 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 so I was talking to this guy. We went out, um, and then I made a joke. I was like, "Yeah, I'm like so scary." He's like, "Yeah, you actually really are int- intimidating." And okay. I was like, "It's because you look at people like this." 
<laughs> and I was just like, me intimidating? Because I, I like, have eyes. <laughs> can, we ask you, can, we ask, can we ask you a serious question? Frogan's going to give Who's Raph we? A, Who's we? You're, you're Who's we? Me. I'm not asking the no, question. No, no. Frogan's going to give Raph a compliment. You be the judge. Is it a serious compliment or is she being... Yeah, I'll ask you a better question. Kenny, mm. I gave you many compliments when you came in. Mm. Did any of them sound sarcastic to you? No. Okay, but it's not directed at no, me. But also, we're both Capricorn, so it's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can do it towards. You can do it towards Girl, everyone. Please? Huh? Here's the thing: I've heard you give natural, normal sounding compliments, but, when it's to us? but whenever it's me or Capri, it's always like, "You look good." You know what I mean? <laughs> Her compliment yesterday was kind of weird, and I didn't know if it was nice. Which or not. compliment? She's like, she's like, "I was like, Frogan, give me a compliment." She's like, uh, and "I was like, no, Frogan, seriously." She's like. You have a nice hairline for someone who's 35. And yeah, I was like, yeah. <laughs> that's fucking insane. I was like, what? That's <laughs> like, insane. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> yeah. It's like, no, you're like insecure about it, but it's I don't not know bad. If it's good or bad either. We're like but 35. It's funny. <laughs> like, I'm not being sarcastic. And I'm like, yeah, you are, dude. Are you sure? <laughs> no, listen, I give you compliments. <laughs> that's like me saying you have nice hair for someone who covers it up. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. <laughs> So it wouldn't be a lot because you feel bad for laughing at that. No, you can laugh. But they don't fucking go out to anything. Why are you so afraid when I rate? Listen. You were doing karate knife hands at me. I was just so mad at me. It's like the arrow. Also, you think your reach is smaller than what it is. You have 10 inch nails on, dude. Frogan's about to do the arrow. It's a hand cultural thing because that's what I was thinking with Hassan yesterday. It's a cultural thing. Yeah. It's about like, for example, yeah. There are days when you pick you pick me up and I'm like, oh, you look nice today. Or I like your shirt. Do they ever sound sarcastic? Yes. No, the fuck they <laughs> don't. Yes, they do. Yeah. You look good today. <laughs> and one time we were driving, okay? And she started kicking, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> one time we were driving and we were getting a coffee or something, and he was like, I I, I said something. I got I said it like really high pitched or some shit. Mm. I was like excited for the coffee. And he's like, he said something about like he was like, no, he was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I, I do like, that. I do that now. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Fine. From now on, when I talk to you, no emotion at all. <laughs> so I would be talking to him and I'd say something. He was like, oh, well, you said no emotion, but you raised the end of your the <laughs> yeah. pitch at the end of your sentence. Just being aggressively annoying about it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? N- you know what? <laughs> You see That's what I have to fucking deal with? <laughs> like, I, so the whole debate has been like, whenever I give him compliments, it's always sarcastic. Give me a compliment right now. Just do it real quick. I like the way. <laughs> there, there, yeah, it's over. You see it, right? It you was a see struggle. it, right? It was a struggle, but it wasn't insincere. I, I didn't I'm not it. saying the compliments are insincere, but they are sarcastic sounding. Yeah. Okay, fit, do it. I believe, it. I believe it. I like how your microphone matches your 69 jersey that you paid $300 for. See, that, 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 last, part. that last, last part. That last part. That's the part. And we're doing so well. That was, that's fucked up. It is a stupid purchase, so I agree. It is a stupid purchase. In fairness, it could be the lashes, too. I just and feel the like eye roll. It was a mild <laughs> eye roll. Yeah. But I am. I am, okay. I am we need more women on this podcast. I am all for being sarcastic towards men, though. So that's just my personal. I'll give you a compliment. You're all matchy today. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Chill I the feel fuck a little neutral. out. Yeah. I don't know if that was a compliment. <laughs> You're all matchy today. No, Chill look the at, fuck you know, out. Just statements, dude. Your hair is very fluffy. Hold on. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. Raph is a good sweet. person. I love him. Oh. That was that was good. Maybe it's like a words of affirmation type thing. No, like I, maybe you know, it's the not... compliment I always give Raffi is he has some of the best skin I've ever seen in my life. Like he has like no fucking pores Thank and you. it's like smooth. Sorry. Knock on wood. I don't wanna <laughs> Oh damn. See? Thank you. Does he have nice fucking He's skin? Poreless, yeah. I'm poreless. Thank you. Because I did his makeup one time. I was like, what the fuck? I think like, I got it you did his mom. makeup one time? Yeah. Oh, your base must be fire. Exactly. There's <laughs> nothing there. <laughs> see, Dude, was, you're, you, yeah, yeah, see you look up for me? Yeah. He doesn't even have like anything to cover, right? Just a slight. Just my little bags, a little Fuck, bit. Why do men have l- nice lashes? What do you mean? He has long for? lashes too. Oh, it's the Lebanese and these. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the Arab Lebanese. Arab men have me. the worst fucking lashes because it's what we fucking die for. <laughs> <laughs> See, that was a nice compliment. That was a nice compliment. Nice, yeah, yeah, thank that you, was thank you, thank you, ladies. It, 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 the the me, things I hate about you, though, yeah. I could go on for days. All right, let's hear it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate anything about Rafi except when he. 
is mean to me. That makes sense. Yeah, I can get behind that. Fair, which is all the time. In, mm-hmm. so. in deviation, <laughs> I I want to I want to absolutely I want to talk about the music shit because I, I oh, yeah. personally want to. I about forgot it. that was we w- went into <laughs> it and then we jumped we jumped out. Which is we don't which is fine we don't care we don't give a fuck. All right. the but the thing real. is, I want to know where were you making the songs because I make music too. Mm. That was like that what I did before all this, and I'm very bad at it, but I, it's just a hobby. What mm. were you making on like what software did you use? Why? What the fuck were you doing with it? So, um. Well, when I first, I've always like liked making music. Like when I was in, yeah. or I should say, I'd always liked music and the concept of making music, but I didn't like make any until like 2019. Mm-hmm. Like in high school, I was a choir kid. So that's kind of where I got like basis for. Me too. Really? You were yeah. What were your uh, second tenor? No, I was actually bass. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I don't think I should have been, but I was. I could see that though. I yeah. think you'd be like in between. It was good. Um, they have choir in high good. school. Yeah. Okay. In uh, well, in my area is predominantly black high school, so we did like. Uh, I went to a predominantly black high school as well. Yeah, yeah. I went to a white high school, dude. We have no choir because nobody could. Wait, sing. did you? <laughs> yeah. Actually. Yeah. Where are you from again? Uh, I'm from Boynton Beach, Florida. You can leave that in. I'm not there anymore, so it doesn't matter. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe that is it. Maybe it's a black thing i didn't realize that okay but like um we would have it was largely like gospel focus or like spiritual like hymns and old mm. negro spirituals mm. and stuff and so there's like a technical basis that i got from that and then um but i didn't really play any instruments or anything and i still don't well i play a changu which is like a korean frame drum on both sides oh interesting um but i can't play it in my apartment so it's just decoration right now <laughs> It's my end table. <laughs> is, it too, is it too fucking loud or something? They won't let me play oh, okay. that. Okay. <laughs> so, and I also have a book, which is another uh, frame drum, but it's like a mallet. Basically, and they're both just end tables right now. Um, and so I had an existential crisis one day. I love that for you. Love it. Um, probably a panic attack where I was just like, if I don't make music, then no one will remember I was on the planet. It was very that's a real feeling. Though. That was a very. Jeez, I feel that all the time. It was very existential. Like if I don't make something that lasts beyond me, I wasn't here. Uh huh. Yeah, immortality much. project. That's what it's called. Oh. Yeah, it's called. Immor- I was twenty two. I probably shouldn't have been doing. Yeah. How old are you now? You said you're almost twenty nine. Okay. It's interesting that you had that feeling of you know if I don't make music, no one's gonna know I existed. When at that time. You I had been, doing, been YouTube. doing YouTube for a while. I just didn't think it mattered. <laughs> it's not that it didn't matter. I felt like um, I'm like a, a goof. Mm-hmm. So like nothing I do like seriously. I'll go get them. Will exist. Got you, got you, got you. You know what I mean? I'm going to reset. Yeah. Um, I just reset. I love you too, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I would never shame him for vocalizing how he feels. Does your dog bark a lot? Not unless there's like people outside or if someone's visiting. Like if someone's visiting, interesting. At first, she used to like yell at people for standing, <laughs> and then um, I got that. I yell at people for standing too. She's just like, I don't like how much taller you are than me, and so she just starts yelling. And then now she'll yell because she wants to play. But when she wants to play with me, she's more like, "Come on, let's play." Whereas if it's other people, she's like, "Come on, bitch, <laughs> let's go." <laughs> I'm not scared of you, bitch. And I'm like, "Why are you so aggressive?" <laughs> uh, oh, I'm coming, man. baby. <laughs> he's so excited. We're bringing Miles in. He's so happy. I got baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> he's so fucking excited. I didn't realize that Miles is not on the main pod. Oh, oh. So oh, he's a whore. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> He looks looking at me. He's like, "Why the fuck are you not this excited to talk?" <laughs> All right, buddy. All right. All right. Sit down. Yo, baby. Lay down. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. My dog doesn't listen to me. So you were dealing with mortality when yeah. you started like really creating music. <laughs> as, as I'm, uh, I just graduated in college, and mm-hmm. I didn't have. What were you in college for? So I went for international studies, economics, and development. Politics, economics, and development, and I double majored in Korean studies. Oh, cool. And I was going to teach English, mm-hmm. and then my mom, uh, I don't know if I ever talked about this on, like, 
somewhere, but I think my mom had superpowers a little bit. Superpowers? What the fuck, I need to hear about. In the sense that if she like like old black woman prayer powers <laughs> where anything she wanted, she'd just be like, because I wanted to leave and go to Korea. And I was like, I'm going to go to Korea. Mm-hmm. And she was like, I've been praying for you. And I was like, I don't like that. What are you doing? <laughs> and she was like, I've been praying that you have something so great happen here that you can't go. <laughs> and that's literally what happened. My YouTube popped off. Diabolical. And I couldn't make any money over there doing what I was doing here because yeah. So much sponsorships is U.S. based, right. so they weren't gonna fly over to to Korea. What, and I was, what got you into all the, uh, the like learning Korean? I was a K-pop fan when I was like sixteen. Mm. I was gonna ask, like, were you in any? Okay, because usually, like, whenever you're so like into internet culture, it's likely fandom based. Yeah, <laughs> usually. So I was gonna ask, like, so where where were you on the internet, like? I'm assuming you're on when like, I started. Yeah, like Tumblr, Twitter. I was mostly YouTube. a YouTube person. Mm-hmm. I got into Twitter relatively later, and I'm so happy about that because yes, I missed the like peak of saying fucked up crazy <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. My, mine is from October of 2020, and people. <laughs> <laughs> my Twitter is brand my, new. I've had it for a long time. I've had it since like 2014, mm-hmm. but I didn't start like tweeting until probably 2018. And your Twitter pops the fuck off. It's really because I don't have a lot of filters, which is ironic. Mm -hmm. Me saying like I'm happy it didn't exist when I could really (laughs) unhinge. Yo, back in the day when I was really racist. (laughs) I mean, luckily that was never the issue with me. But like, um, yeah. So, uh, and yeah, I wanted to do something over there, and then I couldn't so i was just kind of stuck at home and i was listening to music that was a little bit too sensorily overwhelming and i was like now i need to like do something with this um and then i got on garage band and i didn't know oh, what mix yeah. what mixing and mastering was so my songs sounded like engineering wise fucking terrible mm-hmm. um like my early work people were like oh, i like it i was like i I <laughs> so, okay <laughs> if it if it holds a special space in your heart that's great um and then I have like played around with genre a little bit but I haven't done a lot of production and I want to do that more like I'm not a tech savvy person that's what kept me from doing like music at a higher level is that the bar barrier of entry to like write a song is low anyone can right. write a song. And then when you start to like be like, okay, now I need to do the mixing and mastering. Like my friends who went to school, like one of my buddies went to school with Marshmallow mm. and he was like, he's like buddies with him and he mastered my song. And within an hour, he made it sound better than I could ever do it in a mm-hmm. year. And I remember can being I get, like, can I get his details? Yeah. yeah. I think he, yeah, left. No, I think he left no. to become a realtor. Ah, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll show guys you. Guys making, a real guys making music on the market. Dude. Yeah. Well, I text him, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, Hey man, like, can you help me finish my song? He's like, man, I'm out of the the thing. Oh, oh, okay, fair, fair. So I was like, okay, you know, but uh, basically, like, he did it in like five minutes. It's because he went to school for it. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I think that like the that's what like kept me because I was like, they're like, okay, well, your song sounds it's cool, it's like catchy, but you need to mix and master it to make it sound like a, a, a real song. song. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I have a friend uh in New York who does like does mixing and mastering on the side, self self taught, and people would go to him all the time and just go here. Like not like super successful rappers, but like rappers come up and coming and go, mm. would outsource all the mastering and mixing to him so that he could make it sound great. I remember living with him and he would for hours upon hours listen to the same part of the song over and over and mm-hmm. over and tweak like like, like m- minuscule decibels and stuff. It's and so I was like, That's ridiculous. Yeah, it's, like, it's like almost like editing a YouTube video. It's very similar yeah. to that. Mm. I, I would even say more so. Yeah. Well, or maybe because my editing sucks. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's very low bar editing on my videos. But like um, the first few songs I did, they weren't mixed and mastered at all. Mm-hmm. And people were like, eh, it doesn't sound bad, though. Just get it mixed and mastered, which I didn't even know what those words were mm-hmm. at the time. I was like, oh, that's I, I, I was just like, how do I make my songs sound like a song? Yeah. And I'm like, that's not very descriptive on, you know, Google on the Googles. <laughs> I ended up doing finally mixing mastering for it. Um, I just like asked around to a friend of mine who was a rapper and like looking back on it, that's not quite 
the mixing and mastering style wise I should have been going for. Mm. Um, but you know, you live and you learn. And then um I had a friend of mine, Shamir, hello, who uh does music full time and he was saying like I wanna I like your music, but I, I wanna like have you work with somebody that I know that I think could really make it pop. Make it sound Clean. more like industry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Closer to industry standard. Mm-hmm. Um I still <laughs> well, let's do honest, but I still don't love my <laughs> I think any artist is like not gonna love <laughs> yeah, not gonna what they I do. Still, I still feel like there's more. Can I be honest? There's a lot of YouTubers that have music channels, and they're ass. <laughs> <laughs> name them. Name them right name now. Right name now. them right now. Drop it right now. Leave this out. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna name. <laughs> like them. I feel like. I mean, like for me, I was like when I oh not your shy. Ooh. oh yeah just shy. They're not gonna hold you down. <laughs> They're not gonna hold you down. They're not gonna hold you down. You're a free a dog. You're a free dog. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're a free dog. You're a free dog. Are you a poodle? What are you? Yeah, uh, a golden doodle. Golden doodle. A little mini golden doodle. Mini doodle. <laughs> oh, there it goes. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why? Can we reset? Not yet. We have five we're minutes. Good. I'll do it. We're I'll good. do it in a second. Okay. So I feel like slowly but surely, I don't know if it was dog uh, motivated, but my skirt has ridden up. So good thing for this. <laughs> when you say dog motivated, what do you mean? <laughs> dog, you got well, before dog we got in, in <laughs> dog's before we got my in skirt here, up, before dude. we got in here, it was Girth uh, Master. Miles, uh, <laughs> <laughs> if only. <laughs> 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 no, uh, before we got in here, like Miles had like bit my butt under <laughs> under the skirt. I was like, oh, hello. He's like, cheeky, man. Cheeky, man. I think uh, he hates women. That's I think my he theory. loves them. That's no. <laughs> he frustrates me. Really? Into oblivion. Yes. He hates Miles. <gasps> Why? He's so oh, annoying. I love it. I have three dogs back at home. Oh. Never acted like this. <laughs> <laughs> This Never. Is, this is just irresponsible cuteness. He's just crazy. I love crazy dogs. Mine is very chill though. She's just like, just feed me and uh, let me lay down and that shit. That shit I meant. Love that. I mean, like this is the this is. I had a dog that was before this. He was a Pomeranian Cocker, which is the opposite. Mm. Like didn't want to be near you. It was like having a cat. This mm. one is like he just wants to be everywhere. And I love it. I love that. Like personally, I love it. It's also the problem is like because he's these dogs as puppies, they're crazy. Like he won't sleep. Like he won't lay down or mm. re- like relax. So even if we have him out here, he'll just go for four or five hours. He won't chill. Okay, that's so not... you have. To, I have to create him. Like someone the other day was like. You create him. I'm like, dude. If I don't create my dog, my dog will kill himself. Like, yeah. From like, <laughs> that's like my friend. Like- she just got a dog named Bubbles, and it's a little black lab, uh, black lab mass. No, black lab mix. I forget what it is, but she's like really, really, really concerningly energetic to such a degree that they have her on like anti-anxiety meds Mm -hmm. for her dog. And I was like, that's intense. How the fuck (laughs) did the dog come out? Get anxiety. Get anxiety. And I was like, see, we we act like our owners. Yeah. We talked about it once on the podcast back when we were talking about the buttons and the dogs and how that one dog started getting too uh, depressed. Depressed. (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) Started vocalizing its depression. Mm -hmm. I always feel so bad about Mm -hmm. that. So yeah, uh, make music in the basement, people. That's where where the magic truly happens. Hell yeah. And then send it to some guy in London. Hi, Justin. (laughs) (laughs) Who takes my music and turns it into real music. But yeah, fucking Justin. Do you uh, fucking Justin? No, Do you have not, anything? Uh, yeah, go or, ahead, okay, I'm so sorry. We're so discombobulated so right now. Reset it, but no, you're good. It's fine. Do you right. have anything you want to plug? Like any videos you have planned coming out? Anything exciting um, or not so exciting, but cool for you that you want to talk about? I just plug be in? out there. Um, Hell yeah! I my channel is Kenny JD. I'm talking about shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, I talk about shit uh movies and apparently no fap now <laughs> i'm considering making a not a part two but like a companion piece to that video about the guy um i was actually listening to a podcast about it about the guy who um 
essentially did a whole like men's health thing in the early 1900s where he uh, did testicle implants with um, goat balls. What the fuck? And he's <laughs> also why we have talk radio. Okay, I want. And that's gonna wrap. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> We're gonna wrap up our 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 free episode here on YouTube. But if you guys want to check out more of Kenny and more of us, please go over to the Patreon. The link is in the oh, description. And I have another podcast called Connect Ooh. the Dots. Hell yeah! yeah go I check out Connect the Dots. We're gonna put the link to Connect the Dots and the link to Kenny's channel in the description. And maybe we'll do a lower third rate here or something like that. Yeah, and we'll do that for Kenny. Uh, so that's that's it. We'll see you on the Patreon, guys. Ooh, this is a great episode. Bye, yeah. Bye, bye, guys. Bye. bye. Doggo. Get your baby. Holy shit! Go by Raf! Go by Raf! Go touch